Welcome to the Modular Clubhouse. I'm Jesper and this is the Model Crafts in 2.0. So the Craftsim 2.0 is an 8 oscillator virtual analog monophonic synth and that was quite the mouthful if you ask me. Uh, but it is a small desktop synthesizer that you can take along with you wherever you want to go and that's I think the absolute best use case for this. So in all transparency I got this uh, from Modal at a significant discount but that will of course in no way shape or form influence this quick video on the Craftsim 2.0. Um, as while well, talking about this video this will not be a deep dive where I go in and twiddle with every of these encoders and tell you exactly how everything works and how everything uh, is because that would mean I would be making a way too long video. So what I'm going to show you is how I typically work with this little synthesizer that well throws punches way above its pay grade and is throws punches way above its weight. Well, that's probably the right saying, right? Apologies for that. So I would say, well, let's uh, dive right in, shall we? Here we go. So let's have a close look at the Craftsim 2.0 by Modal. Um, first of all, it can be battery powered, just three AA batteries, and you're uh, good for, uh, for a couple of weeks, I would assume. Um, it has no built-in speaker, so you always need to connect either headphones or your line out. And the other capabilities that you have is you can sync this and you have a sync in and you've got a sync out. Uh, you've got MIDI in, MIDI out and a micro USB connection there as well. So micro USB is on the one hand to, uh, to power the device, so it's much more environmentally friendly to use um, your USB charges that you have lying around or just use rechargeable batteries that's fine as well and it also acts as a, a MIDI over USB uh, interface and the other thing is of course you can run the modal app from well your PC your Mac uh, an iOS tablet or a, an Android tablet as well if you have the right connections there um, I'm not going to do a full, well, okay, this is what every knob uh, does. Um, I'm just going to run you through what I truly enjoy about this device. So first of all, there's the keypad. So most of you know that I'm no uh, keyboard virtuoso. I, um, I'm still learning a lot. And one of the beautiful things is that these just have eight keys there that you can use to play with anything. And you can set the scale in which this is set so that will minimize the amount of errors that I make so that's a good thing for me um, as said um, all of these these knobs have at least well have three functions uh, so one is the normal function so in this case this is the resonance for instance but if I hold shift it's also going to be the morphology or the morphing of the filter as well and then if I can also do the, well, for instance, the uh, the preset button, you can use that to uh, make some changes as well. So those are the modifiers that you have for these knobs, shift and preset. So we can just play around with this. And we can choose one of 64 presets that we have. Go back, start with number zero. You can then change things, of course. Change the mix of the two banks of oscillators. Change the first oscillator. Change the second oscillator. Spread. And this is the way how you will actually work with the with this synth. 
and you'll just keep on finding these happy little accidents that you can truly work with. Um, keep in mind that this doesn't have a built-in sequencer. Um, that's no problem for me because I've got my, 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 my key step 37 here. So I've got a small sequence program into that that I can use to uh, play with this. So what I truly enjoy about this is it allows me to explore music, explore sounds, and if you then well, find something you truly like, you can just store it immediately and make sure that you, uh, you can use it again. Uh, but keep in mind you have 64 slots to save and yeah, make sure that you use them wisely. <laughs> So let's have a quick look at the modal app. So as you can see, this modal app it is of course specific for this synth that I'm using, but it's the same app for every synth there there is. So if I were to connect another synth from modal, the interface would of course look extremely different based on the capabilities that one has. So what we're looking at right now is the editor. So from where you can actually just make some changes to all of the settings that you have. There is also a live view where you can actually have a full-sized keyboard uh, there to, if you were to want to try that. Some settings and there are of course even additional settings as well if you want to have well, more of the other kind of settings, the window settings for instance. So. I truly enjoy well just playing around with the well, with the editor and make some changes. So if you want to go through all of the available uh, wave banks, for instance, that you can just go through that. Um, what I truly like is you can just move your mouse up and down. But what you can also do is just hover over it and just well use your scroll wheel. That is such a a beautiful thing to see and I would love to see other manufacturers use this interface as well because I'm so used to doing things with my scroll wheel and even just moving up and down works brilliantly but that you have the choice and the availability for both that's just great and well, so let's do a quick run through so here you have the actual waves that you're going to be using um, here you've got the, well, the design of your, uh, of your filter uh, you've got the filter envelope, the amplitude envelope, you've got your modification envelope and you've got some modifiers there and here as well. So as mentioned there are great videos out there that are going to go through all of these features one by one. I'll link to some of them in the description below. Uh, but let's just do what I like doing best and that's just playing around with it, right? So one of the things I truly love is the... where is it again? It's this one. It's so dystopian, I just fell in love with that sound. As mentioned, I could just use my key step as well. This is just some, some easy ambience that you can create with this. It's just beautiful to do that. I love that. So let's uh, have a look at some of the other presets. Yeah, that's one thing I totally haven't mentioned yet. So the, the built-in arpeggiator. You can just hold two buttons or three or all of them. And all of them arpeggiate. 
course that's not that musical. So you don't necessarily need to use the built-in arpeggiator on the key step, for instance, or in your other MIDI controller that you use. You can just use the modal arpeggiator. And some of the presets have been specifically designed to do arpeggiation, so yeah. Give that a try. It's just beautiful, right? It does have a certain 80s vibe to it, but I I love the sounds that it already has as presets and then the the way how you can easily modify all of these things, it's just a beautiful thing that you can play around with for hours. And because it's battery powered, you can just bring this on holiday and just jam as long as you want or that the batteries last, of course. Um, the sound is phenomenal. It packs a punch and it punches way over its weight and it's just a great little little synth. I truly fell in love with this and I I usually just take this with me to the living room, sit on the couch with my headphones on and just jam for hours and just make some changes to this, play around with it. And we have beautiful sounds coming. ASAP, let's do some glide there. The 90s Mystics part pad. Oh, wow. <laughs> So it's just a great exploration device. Explore all of the, the built-in presets, explore all of the settings, um, combine it with a, um, uh, with a MIDI controller, combine it with your other synths. It's, it's a great little thing and its sound is majestic. So you know that the people over at Modal uh, really truly went all out in sound designs for this great little device. Uh, I don't think that they spared any sort of cost there and still made something that is extremely affordable. Uh, I would say it's around the same cost as you would pay for, uh, let's say for instance, a, a Korg Volker, the cheaper ones. It's around, it's it's significantly smaller uh, than, than a Volker as well. And it's because it only takes three batteries, it's also a much lighter as well. But then again, it doesn't have a built-in speaker. Um, and it doesn't have a sequencer, but then again, the sequencer is typically something you want to have externally anyway. So I, I truly love this this small little thing. Um, I do think that if it had a sequencer built in, that I would probably play m even more with it, uh, because then you can truly just sit on the couch, sit in your chair, and just jam and just record some sequences. So what I, I tend to do right now is I first start off with the crafts in 2.0 and then after an hour of jamming I'll, I'm gonna grab my my my, my full-sized keyboard or my mid-sized keyboard and use that for sequencing and start to build some some nice loops there so um, there is so much to talk about with this crazy little synth um, but I do have to uh, cut this video a bit short so I would say well let's go back to the studio and wrap this up I would say uh, Talk to you in a bit. Cheers. So I truly hope you enjoyed this video on the Craftsin 2.0 by Model, whom I have to thank again for making this possible, of course. Um, the Craftsin was on my list for quite some time. And the reason for that is, of course, because I love to have a portable synth that I can take with me when I'm leaving on holiday in this uh, summer of synths, as some people tend to call this summer. Um, so 
that's one of the reasons why I love to have this. Uh, this is one of the reasons why I love this device. And I was truly, honestly impressed with the sounds that come out of this small little synthesizer. And I do see that as I develop as a musician, that I will be able to get even more value out of this box than I already can. And the only thing that's holding that back is my own uh, musical development. So great little box, great investment. Uh, go pick this up ASAP. I think you can get this for as little as 130 euros or the UK sterling or US dollar equivalent of that. So I would say you can't go without this. Go and pick one up and enjoy. For now I would say please everyone, please stay safe, stay healthy and I hope to see you next time. Cheers.